gorgeous bull. You got a big bull spotted from last night. We're just waiting here until it gets a little bit lighter out. And this time of year, it's really early here in California, so all the bulls and cows are intermixed. Should be a big group, but there's a monster. So give it a little bit more light. Hopefully they're in the same area. It's been getting up to about 105, 108 during the day, so they're not moving hardly at all, except for that last hour at night first hour in the morning, bedding down all day. So hopefully they didn't graze off too far last night and they're in the same general area. We'll find out in a couple minutes. We spent the morning going to different glassing knobs and seeing if we couldn't cut the group of bulls and didn't have any success. So it's midday, it's gonna to get to about 105, 106 today. So we're set up under some shade and there's a couple of watering spots down here and we're just sort of set in between and covering the hillside where they bounce back and forth, seeing if none of them get up midday and just go and get a drink. If that doesn't work, later today we'll start hitting the, the glassing knobs again, see if we can't cut them right before dark. With the temperatures going up as high as they have been during the day, the morning's been the best just because they've been out feeding at night. And there's usually an hour to two hours in the morning where they're, where they're moving before they get to bed. Midday, they get up some, but a day like this, most likely they won't get up. Um, tonight, it all depends how quick the temperature drops. Last night, right at dark, it was still about 95. So some of them may have got up right before dark, but it was that last couple nights right before dark. But never know, that's hunting. So we're gonna be here give it our best shot and we'll put us in our best odds, which right here it's setting up between these two watering spots and seeing if we can't catch one coming midday. Well, I reached 108 today in the afternoon, so we laid low for about four hours, 4.30, 5 o'clock right now. We're going to sneak back out and start moving again, and hopefully we can catch them as they come out of the shade. Being this hot, they're going to move right at the very end, so it's one of those things. If they move early enough, we'll have a chance to go. If not, we'll at least know where they're at for the morning. It is hot. so far off but judging by his fronts and his tops he looks like a 310 bull Well, right where we want to be surrounded by big bugling bulls, but the ones we were hoping would come out of the timber didn't come all the way out. So we're on call tonight, be right back in the same exact spot tomorrow morning. We've got one big bull located over there and another big bull over there. And those are the two we're, we're going to focus on, but there are oh, probably 10, 12 other bulls here and they're just starting to scream. we got about 15 minutes left until it's pitch black and they're screaming, cows are going off and it's awesome. Yeah. There's actually three really nice bulls over that way. road loops around, this road that comes up, we just pop up on the back side of them, probably be 180, 200 yards.
let me know when I'm clear. 280 now. Just raised his head, right? <clears throat> okay, right there he's almost clear if you're steady. steady. Watch him for a sec. <laughs> Good shot. Thank you. Thank you. It's a big bull. That's a beauty. He's a beauty. <sighs> the heart rate going? Yeah. Yeah. Especially in it's a hundred and some degrees. <laughs> Let's go take a look at him. Okay. Right on. Gorgeous. Isn't yeah, it? He's blind in that eye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. There he goes, he's coming out to the left. You just see his head. There he goes. Are you on him? Yep. Good job. 